Hey, welcome friends. This is going to be part three of our improving golf over the winter series. And this has to do with uh, the downswing. I've always had the first one on shoulder turn, having the shoulders do your swing. We've also done the one on making your back swing. Today, we're going to talk about your downswing. Now, I've got a little helper here. And what this is, and you can buy these, not for me, but you can buy these. It's a little balance board. Now, all I did was just take a board, a trim board, a quarter an inch, half an inch, something like that, and just glued it and stapled it to the bottom of this board. So it's right in the middle. What it is, it's a little teeter-totter. Let me show you how this thing works. Now, a lot of people that I've seen, what will happen is they think they're making good weight shift. In fact, the matter is they're not. Most of the time, they're leaving all their weight on their right foot. They come up hitting fat shots or else top shots. What this does, when you get on there, like you can see, it goes back and forth. It's really easy to feel your weight shift, okay? So when we take our backswing, like in the prior video, what's true? Boom. You're not swaying, but your weight is shifting to your right side, your right foot. And you can feel this board, boom, clicks down onto the right. Now let's talk about the downswing. When you make your downswing, you can feel the board shift to the left. If you're actually having a weight shift, it's just a conscious thing to let you know, you know, I do have a good weight shift. If you try this, I'll guarantee you, some of you will never feel that weight go to the left. You'll keep your weight on your right side, which will kill a good golf swing. But without moving my hips, without swaying, that weight is automatically going from my right to my left. Now what I wanna talk about, is how you start your downswing and this is very important you get up here to the top you're at the top of your backswing right now what's true do you whip your arms around absolutely not your arms are strings they're tied to your shoulders they don't do anything in a golf swing your arms do nothing in a golf swing except hold on to the golf club when you go to start your swing you're all the way back you're all coiled the weight is on your right foot now what's true to do the swing, like I said, you turn your shoulders to the left. Now, if you've noticed, my arms haven't moved, but when I get to here, I'm already halfway through my swing and my arms have not even moved. Notice your right arm comes into the side, comes into your side. It's like a tennis player. When he hits, he goes like this. He doesn't hit like this. He hits like this. Gives you a lot of power with that right elbow in there. But you start your swing, by turning your shoulders. That's all there is to it. Your weight automatically shifts to your left side. Automatically. You can go halfway through your swing and your arms haven't moved off of your shoulders. They've remained in place. What's true, you come down here and that movement of coming down here in a regular swing, full swing, that'll stretch your arms. Make them even get more stretched across your chest. But you come here, you turn your shoulders, Here's your club. Now you let loose with the arms and your arms will go through. Your weight shift, your hip turn, all of that is automatic. All of that is automatic. Boom. But that's your entire downswing. Then let your arms go. Let your arms go. And when you get an impact, that shaft should be leaning backwards. This wrist bump, that's going to be pointed out like this. That keeps this hand in like this. It stores tons of power that way. But you come through like this, let your arms go, and at impact, boom, you're like this. We'll talk about the rest of it on the next video, which is going to be impact and follow through. And the final video in this series is going to be what kind of beer you should buy at the 19th hole. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you find the video helpful, please uh, click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.